Greetings, Facebook. Uh, greetings, uh, YouTube. Uh, this is possibly going to go on YouTube. I thought I would make this uh, video, and it's also going to go in my comments you know, under a post I did. Um, that we live, we're in a climate where I know it's not going to get too many likes, uh, but that's not why I do it. Anyway, I do it because um, I don't want people to just, um, frankly, with all due respect, I don't want them to to just be walking toward a cliff and just walk off of it just because everybody's doing it. Um, <clears throat> you know, the post, of course, was about the popular phrase these days um and people can say what they will no one was really making no one was really using these terms in mass anyway for lack of a better term uh t maybe 10 20 years ago but it's about the popular phrase social justice um those of us that you know really um you know take time to look into certain matters and i'm not saying people that uh they don't know this, they don't look into things, period. But those of us that take time to look into certain matters know that that, that term social justice immediately, um, excuse me, immediately raises red flags. Immediately. And excuse me, I'm, I'm kind of just waking up. Um, it raises red flags. It is a socialist buzzword. And people that want to act like it's not, to me, are being disingenuous. They're not being... Uh, they're not being, uh, they're not being, they're being disingenuous. They're, they're, in, in, in some cases, I wouldn't put it on everybody. In some cases, they're not really being uh, honest to me. They're not being honest intellectually when they, when they make those um, um, statements. Uh, now, some, and I would say most. See, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, making this post saying all the brothers and throwing stones and all the brothers that are doing it uh, our sisters even um, are doing it are wicked and they're part of a scheme and all this that's not what I'm saying I am saying that many of them now some of them I believe do know what they're doing but many of them are are um, are falling for something um, and and they don't and they and they're really just jumping into it which we are known to do as a people. I hate to say this, but we, uh, we're known to just jump into stuff without even thinking about it. Years ago, everybody was on the Black Lives Matter uh, bandwagon until a few men and women of God who had some discernment actually looked into the Black Lives Matter agenda and come to find out, you know, it it, it is not uh, ultimately serve our best interest. It doesn't even serve ultimately our best per our, uh, our purposes. But people seen that Black Lives Matter, and most of us just jumped right into it. You know, a lot of times we as a people don't take time to think. We just get emotional, and you know, look, if you look at the uh, look at what's going on in this country, you can kind of understand why people are getting emotional. Yes, there are some things that are uh, taking place in the country when it comes to police brutality and everything but even when you study that you, you, you see that you see the agenda that the media is pushing uh, because it's not happening the way the media is reporting it they're reporting it like it's just our people that it's happening to yet when you look at statistics the statistics tell another story that's that does not mean that I'm okay with our people being killed I'm not but I'm just saying, when you look at statistics, it does not line up with the way the media is reporting it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, but, you know, if we be honest, our people have an, a historical, uh, some of them, many of them, I would say. That's going to get me blocked, but I'm just going to say many of our people have a love affair with socialism. Um, I, I, it was one of the things that was a, a surprise to me when I, when I, found, when I really con connected the dots and found that out. Many of them, uh, the Black Panthers, when you study them, um, when you study the Black Panthers, I don't listen. I don't hate the Black Panthers. Uh, I'm not speaking against them. I'm just telling you something that if you look up, look it up about them, you'll find out it's a fact. The Black Panthers advocated socialism. They just did. 
They just did. Um, Dr. King even, now I know I'm gonna get in trouble here, but Dr. King even was a neo-Marxist. Like, it's got to the point now where it's not even hard to prove that. There's like a, uh, if I remember, uh, um, there's even a letter, I believe. I have to double check that though. There's a letter, I believe, of him um, talking to his wife when he was dating his wife, where he basically says that he's not totally for capitalism. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, I'm, I didn't want to get into all that, but anyway. Um, but my point is, there's a, just a historical love affair, and if you look further, if you look into the history of, of Marxism itself, you can find uh, early in, uh, uh, no, not early, but at a certain part of their history, they said, like, it, this can be documented. This is not me talking. This literally can be documented. You can literally look this up and find out that I'm telling you the truth, uh, that they wanted to utilize black people to advance their cause. There were black folk that came out, uh, that left the Communist Party, that came out and said, that what I'm saying here, I'm not saying they knew me, but I'm saying they came out and said that, 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 that as much. They came out and said that this was true. But uh, one, I remember listening to where he said he found out that black folk were going to be used as cannon fodder once everything went down. And then, of course, I cannot talk about this without giving the whole picture. And that is socialism itself is a fraud. I understand that socialism is a fraud. Uh, socialism is was never even meant for the downtrodden masses. It, that's the that's the that's the that's its selling point. That's what they use to sell it. That's that's even it kind of on paper. But socialism is a means that that the elite of the world use to consolidate power. If you don't believe me, all you have to do is look at the Russian Revolution in 1917. And don't just look at it. Find out who funded it. And when you look at who funded it, you're, you're going to be shocked. Most, A lot of the funding came from Wall Street. Now, if you don't understand power, you, you'll look at that and you'll say, why would wealthy capitalists fund a communist revolution. Now, I'm going to say something else, too. Communism and socialism are technically the same thing. Uh, if you look in the a Communist Manifesto, uh, Karl Marx mentions socialism way more than he mentions communism. Here's the thing. Here's the difference. Communism has never been achieved. Never. It's never been achieved. Communism is what happens when the state uh, withers away. But to get to communism, all uh, communists work, the people that wear the name communism work toward socialism. And once all of that's in place, what's supposed to happen eventually at some point, the state is supposed to magically wither away and we're supposed to have a worker's paradise. That never happens. The state never withers away. Um, the goal of the elite um, that was admitted in, um, basically admitted from what I've looked into, is admitted in uh, the uh, book Philip Drew Administrator by Colonel Edward Mandel House, a book he did not admit that he even wrote um, until um, a few years, uh, to a few years after the fact. I think it was years and years, possibly years and years after, possibly years and years after the fact, but I think it was a few years, I'm not sure. But he admitted in there that the goal was socialism as dreamed by Karl Marx. Now, the interesting is, the thing is, he said socialism. He didn't say communism. He said socialism. And then even there's a there's a paint there's a, 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 a um, an art a piece of artwork that someone drew of Karl Marx on Wall Street shaking hands with the Rockefeller, you know, with, with uh, I think John D. Rockefeller and different ones like that. And it had social. He had a thing, a book in his hand that said socialism. See, the elite don't want communism. They want socialism. They don't want the state to wither away. They want to keep it, uh, and they want to keep us in a totalitarian type of a system where they control things uh, basically from behind the scenes. Now, um, as time went, has went on, I will say this. It appears that they want to do it in such a way to where 
there there seem there may seem to be perks or whatever. And people people today largely don't really even understand freedom like they used to. So, you know, if you just give people, if you just allow people to have, um, if you just allow people to, you know, continue to have their sports and continue to, to go out and party on Saturday night and things like that, many of them are not even going to complain that they've lost their liberty. Um, I'm saying way too much in way too little time, and there's there's a little bit more that should be said to, to develop even what I'm saying. But it kind of goes into the idea of what um, Aldous Huxley talked about when he talked about a scientific dictatorship. At, at, the, end, at the end of the day, if you want a picture of, of what they're trying to do, it's, it's going to be, Aldous Huxley, I believe, even said this before he died, it's, go, it's supposed to be, it's going to be a conglomeration of what he wrote about and what George Orwell wrote about in 1984. It's not going to be completely what Orwell wrote about. See, people ain't going to want to live under that. You know, and then too much, uh, I believe they look at uh, Brave New World and, and they see too much excess. But both of those com combined together where, yeah, it's totalitarian and, and you don't really have the liberties like you used to have. But at the same time, you know, you have all of these things and all these trinkets and everything um, to to make you feel good. You know. Most people aren't going to fight against that, so um, so they're, they're not endeavoring to to see communism happen. They want socialism, um, and that's basically their system, um, and they want to control things behind the scene because things can, can be controlled a lot easier behind the scene scenes when things are centralized. So I pray everybody understood what I'm what I understands what I'm saying. So uh, anyway, have a blessed one.